These days, ethnic groups in the Central Highlands have turned their hearts to Hanoi capital, grieving and mourning the great loss of the nation over the passing of General Secretary Nguyen Phu Trong. His great contributions to the cause of the party and the nation have left a deep impression and special emotions in the hearts of cadres, party members and people in the region. His legacy is also a powerful reminder of the spirit of great national unity. General Secretary Nguyen Phu Trong frequently emphasized President Ho Chi Minh's teachings on promoting solidarity and great national unity. As long as we have solidarity, we will be successful. The passing of General Secretary Nguyen Phu Trong is a great loss of the Vietnamese party, state and people, as well as peace lovers around the world. Every time he visited the Central Highlands, he highlighted the significance of the region to the country's socio-economic development. In addition to maintaining political security and national economic development, he always encouraged people to promote solidarity. In any position, being chairman of the National Assembly, president and party leader, General Secretary Nguyen Phu Trong visited the Central Highlands many times. Thanks to the special attention of the party and General Secretary Trong in particular, the life of ethnic people in the region have been significantly improved. What we find most inspiring after the National Conference on Cultural Development, chaired by General Secretary Nguyen Phu Trong, is promoting national great unity through literature and art. As a result, we have built a number of programs and plans encouraging writers and artists to show this spirit through their works. The Central Highlands, encompassing Khan Tum, Zha Lai, Dak Lak, Dak Nong, and Lum Dong provinces, plays a strategically significant position in national security and defense. It also boasts immense potential for developing high-tech agriculture, ecological and cultural tourism, and the mining industry. <laughs>